Vincent József életútja a 20. század drámáinak, koror történeteinek egyfajta megtestesülése. Cardinal Joseph Mincenti was the Prince Primate, Archbishop of Estegom, Cardinal and leader of the Catholic Church in Hungary from the 2nd of October 1945 to the 5th of February 1974. Cardinal Joseph Mincenti advocated church freedom and opposed Nazism and the communist persecution in his country, which led to his own suffering and judgment, three times in prison and condemned to a life sentence in 1949. <laughs> akivel a történelem eljátszott, hol így, hol úgy. However, after eight years in prison jail, he was freed in the Hungarian Revolution of 1956. A nép kényszerítette ki, hogy Mincenti szabaddá váljon, és Mincenti Budapestre érkezhessen. Az ország helyzete rendkívül súlyos. He could only be free for a few days, as the revolution was shut down quickly by the Soviets. This is when he was granted not political asylum, as often said, but refuge by the American embassy in Budapest. He would stay there as a guest for the next 15 years. This is a phenomenon without precedent that a cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church is for as long as almost 15 years the guest of an embassy in his diocese, in his capital. During this time, he wrote a great number of letters and messages transmitted through diplomatic channels to all of the four US presidents of that time, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, and Nixon, and their secretaries of state. Altogether, 78 letters. Ő abban a hitben van, hogy ő az első számú vezetője továbbra is a magyar római katolikus egyháznak. These letters give the unique chance to have an insight into the thoughts of the cardinal during the Cold War period and later on the period of the détente. Because of his unique situation, he is the only free person in Central Europe who is able to speak in the name of all 120 to 150 million enslaved people and to ask for help and liberation. Valójában a 63-as amnestiához, az úgynevezett ENSZ kegyelemhez, ez veszetett el az ő politikai tevékenysége. Representing the Christian state of Hungary, he asks the president in 1965 to free Hungary. He wants a war in favor of Central Europe, as in Vietnam. He describes the misery of the Catholic Church in Hungary and, as Prince Primate, speaks in defense of his people, which is under communist suppression. 35,000 youth were deported to Siberia. There are no other historical sources to maintain his conviction for this. speaks in favor of the Hungarian minority in the nearby states, mostly in the interest of the Hungarians in Romania. He asks for the alteration of the conditions of the Treaty of Versailles Trianon in 1920, which put an end to Great Hungary and dissected the Hungarian nation. This was a one-way communication with only two written replies from two different presidents, President Kennedy and President Nixon. This correspondence was archived in the United States. Egy olyan emberi szabadságjogokért küzdő, úgymond utolsó szabadságharcosnak tartom, akinek a kezéből nem üthették ki a fegyvert, az ő kezébe pedig ez a fegyver nyilvánvalóan a toll volt, és ez pedig azokban a levelekben nyilvánul meg, amelyeket ő az amerikai elnökökhöz, illetve a külügyvezetőihez írt. In their book, Do Not Forget This Small Honest Nation, Reverend Adam Somoryoy, OSB, and Professor Tibor Zinner offer to their readers a glimpse of the correspondence with the Presidents of the United States and their Secretaries of State. 